Nelson here today. Today I'm going to give you one simple trick to remember all your passwords. So let's dive in and I'll show you how to go about this. So first of all, if you have used the internet for some time now, I know you have issues with passwords and almost everybody have issues with password. You either have one password you have used for several accounts or you find difficult creating accounts with different passwords, uh, which is a security issue, security breach that you would have to work on and fix it. This simple trick is going to be a game changer for you. So what are we going to use to remember all our passwords? We are going to use a password manager. And what does a password manager does? It remembers all your password. You no need to remember any password again. I'm so excited about this video. Let's hit it on. So on your browser, you, you type in LastPass. LastPass is one robust and powerful password manager. And that is what we are going to leverage today. So LastPass, your number one password manager in Vault app. We click on so we are now on LastPass website. You make sure that this is secured HTTPS. You can click on this lock here. Your connection is secured. Your information, for example, password or credit card numbers is private when it is sent to the site. A certificate is valid. Cookies 104 in use. <laughs> Quite fascinating. A site settings. You can look into this later, but you must make sure this site is secured so that you don't have any counterfeit or copycat sites which will send you into some weird thing you don't want to get into. So how does it work? You can look into that later. You just click on control and then you click on that. You can look into that probably later on, but immediately we can hit get loud pass now from this section on this button. So what does LastPass does? All LastPass does is that you are only going to remember just one password. That's the trick. And LastPass will remember all your other passwords. Don't worry if you have hundreds of accounts, several social media accounts. Don't worry. LastPass will go into all those accounts and then find them, store them. If they are not that strong, it will change them. So you don't need to remember all your accounts for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all those fancy useless things. <laughs> Sorry for that. But that is just about it. First of all, you, just, you have to have an email address. So um, let me go into my attempt mail, how I get email address for my demos. So this is the email I'm going to use. If you have watched my temptmail.org video this is how i immediately get emails for demo videos like this i'll link to that video upstairs on the left or right side so we copy this email and then we put it into lastpass And then our master password, that is the most important thing. So let's look here. What is LastPass telling us? LastPass says this password, which is the master password that we need in order to create this account, need to be at least 12 characters long. It needs to be at least one number. It needs to have at least one lowercase. It needs to have at least one upper letter. It needs to have all these things and not be your email in fact that shouldn't be your master password so how do you get that this is an example of a master password and it looks strange isn't it in fact if you have no less than 15 or 20 characters for your master password that is quite strange why because that's going to be the password you remember for the rest of your life if you are going to use LastPass and use it very well for me, I don't remember any password that my master password for my LastPass account. I only need that password. The Achilles heels for this video is that if anybody gets hold of this password, 
you are dead because then you have all your passwords. So that is the disadvantage of the dismerit to this whole LastPass password manager. So you, it must be very complicated and nobody must know about this. For master passwords, you don't need characters or weird words you can't remember. What I would prefer for you is to use a, something we call passphrase. So let's go into another tab and type in passphrase. What does passphrase mean? Password is quite different from passwords. And what is the difference? Immediately we can look on Wikipedia and find a difference between password and passphrase. A passphrase is a sequence of words so or other tests used to control access to a computer system program or data i would explore this website here use a passphrase and i think we have a better perspective of what a passphrase is so this is what a passphrase looks like review thompson drafting rallied these are four words so immediately you have these four words as a passphrase but that is not all because this doesn't have any uppercase lowercase letters special characters you need all those things to make your passphrase very very complicated and security conscious so you can read on later on when you are on your own you learn more about why a password is better than just a password which can be just uh, less than 10 characters so now that you have the idea of how a passphrase looks like we can also find four word passphrase with spaces. We can explore more five words, 12 words passphrase. Let's look at that. Generate a passphrase. Oh, look at that passphrase, powerful. But these are all words. So if you can remember these passphrases, that is better for you. Five words passphrase, we generate a new passphrase. Consider, debate, cities, indicate, appears. That is your passphrase. So that is the idea of what I, I want you to, to have, a passphrase. But we can use just this passphrase. If you can use this, fair enough for you. We're also going to uh, utilize or make use of one other tool called Diceware. In fact, you can do all these in an incognito window. If you, you think that your browser may be aspiring on you, you can work out on your you can do everything in your incognito window, but we will look at this on our browser. I don't really mind. So we are looking at diceware.org. This is the website we'll be looking at. We also make sure that this website is secured. So www.diceware. So we are looking at a website called diceware.net. So this is the website we'll be looking at. This is where we are going to create a more powerful passphrase with the requisite characters and upper and lower cases that is required for our master password. Immediately, I'll put this link in the show notes or the description area so that you can easily go into this website. So let's look at a new word. A new word is what? Quota. I prefer two words and then a, new, a special character. So quota, zest, a special character. Another word, two special characters. Two words, a special character. Two words. In fact, you can go on and on and on. The idea here is for you to easily create passphrases with special characters that you can use for your password. This can be very complicated if you are starting this out, but this is how you get a very security conscious password that will help you with your master password. So you can take the words here, mix them with all these special characters to create no less than 15 characters, including words and special characters for your password you use as your master password. So 
if you don't want any you just click on it and it vanishes i don't want this okay i don't need this i don't need that i don't need that sure i think this is good mm -hmm. you can always start a new one but this is what i have and this is going to be my password but that's the idea so you have your password you go into last pass you put that password in there so basically what diceware is doing is that it's rolling a six sided dice five times giving you an outcome of about 7776 um words in dictionary field words um, so you find the passphrase you prefer you write, either write it down or copy and paste it make sure you have exact passphrase you prefer and then you can put it into your password manager as your master password so i have chosen okay so that is the password i have chosen i'll confirm that here a reminder okay so it says my password is different from the first one so you make sure everything is intact so for the reminder that is optional you either choose or i i don't normally choose anything as a reminder then i can sign up for an account on LastPass. So your account has been successfully created okay so then we go into our email we scroll down temps mail is just a temporary email that I use for demos like this. So you go into an email inbox, you probably will be using Gmail or whatever email provider you have. So welcome. We are excited to welcome you to LastPass family. In fact, we are so excited that you went ahead to unlock, you went ahead and unlocked our premium features for you for the next 30 days. So in fact, LastPass gives you that premium feature you would get if you pay three dollars every month for 30 days in fact that was one dollar when i created this account but it's now three dollars so you have to you you can use that for 30 days for free they are giving you options here you can either have LastPass as a browser extension which is the recommended option here or you can use it on a mobile app or you can visit it and log in on the browser so let's explore all these three options through the browser extension you can then go into chrome and then easily use this browser extension you can reinstall or update your web browser extension you go to lastpass downloads and then you can then find lastpass this is a quick install for chrome i'll give you all the ways you can install this this is the Chrome option. I have it already on my browser, so I don't need to either install or remove it. That is the Chrome option. Let's leave that and then try it once again with another option. We go to these three dots here, more tools, extensions. This is how you enter Chrome's browser extension manually. Mm, so that is your browser extension. You click on these three lines here, open Chrome Web Store. So you type in LastPass. If you don't see this email on your in your inbox, you can go through this process and then you have it here. Okay, let's look at another option. If you are using another browser, let's say Firefox. So I'm opening Firefox and how we can install last pass on the firefox you click on these dots here we go to add ons you can either get these add ons go to extensions and manage your extensions so you go to find more add ons type in last pass there you have it password manager then you can add it to Firefox. So with that, I don't have on my browser. I can add that to my browser. So this is how you find 
LastPass and use on your browser automatically. So that is Firefox for you. You can then add it. Okay, got it. And then you click on it. That is the logo for LastPass. You either create an account through this or you sign up and enter into that account. You sign up with the email address and the master password. And then you can explore LastPass through this arena. I would also try another option. We go to our inbox, the mobile app option. So they have it on Android and iOS as well. Linux, the Windows version is here. You can download it. The Mac version. Okay. Oh, they have all the options here. Linux and on mobile. You can have it on your iPhone, iPad. You just have to put in your email and they'll send it to that mobile device. LastPass for Android, LastPass for Internet Explorer and all other browsers on phone. So that is just about it. That is just about LastPass.